Well, as Attorney General William Barr takes the reins at the DOJ, he is expected to contend with the, a number of scandals. Now, one may include, include a Spygate, the claim that the FBI tried to embed informant Steph, Stephen Helper in the Trump campaign to cause damage to then-candidate Trump's presidential bid. When America's Jack Posobiec sits down with the CEO of American Majority to discuss what may be on the agenda. I'd like to welcome back, of course, to One American News, the CEO of American Majority, Ned Ryan. Ned, thank you so much for being on with us today. Absolutely. Great to be with you, Jack. Ned, the last time I had you on, we talked about Spygate. Now it seems as though there's been a whole title change in terms of everything that's come out since then. What are your current thoughts on this scandal as they stand right now? For the last couple of years, people saying the deep state doesn't exist. It, it's not there. It doesn't. This weekend, I don't know what you can call when you have the acting director of the FBI and the deputy attorney general actually conspiring to undermine the duly elected president of the United States, subvert the will of the American people, subvert the Constitution. What can you call that except for the deep state? The amazing part to me, Jack, is there's so many things that have come out over the last two years, it's hard to keep track of them all. We were talking before about the unmasking scandal. People have kind of forgotten about the fact that literally dozens and dozens and dozens of American citizens were unmasked by the Obama administration. Why? Well, for purely political reasons. You know, and at this point, it really seems that when they have that text messages, that conversation that we found from Strzok and right. Page, which they were at obviously the more operational level of all of this. Right. When they talked about the McCabe insurance policy, I mean, what do you think that was at this point? I, I think at this point where I've come to is this whole bogus counterintelligence operation baked off, based off the fake dossier, which by the way, I think the Clintons, I think you can make a very compelling argument that the Clintons actually funded and facilitated a Russian misinformation campaign by funding the fake dossier. I mean, Bruce Orr finally testified that uh, Christopher Steele's chief source for the fake dossier was an ex-Russian intelligence officer. I think this, the whole fake dossier, the counterintelligence trying to smear the president of the United States with this absurd Russian collusion fairy tale. You know, the FISA court was set up, this law was right. passed in order to prevent these things from right. happening because as a country and this is what it, uh, some of the great work that you guys do is we're supposed to be protecting our civil liberties our civil rights this is the, the the entire impetus the entire purpose of the fourth amendment are those being protected by this process the ultimate goal of our government it's a government of by and for the people it, th this is a government that is to protect the rights of, of of the american people who by the way obviously fund the entire government I think it calls into question how we've been operating, not just for a few years, but for decades, how we've got to start thinking about how we get back to that, because that's the whole point. Our republic was founded on these transcendent principles, and we have drifted very far away from them. But I will say this about the FISA courts. Um, I think what really honestly took place is James Baker had been working with the FISC, with, the, with these FISA courts for decades. I think he came to them, and the judges took him at his word. It's literally a Boy Scout honor system right now. If our government isn't serving its people, then who exactly is it serving? Well, it's serving a ruling class. Our system of government has really become one that's far removed from the American people. It's detached from their priorities. We have to start going back to the fundamentals and say, this is a government of, by, and for the people. This is not for the ruling class. We have to devolve power out of Washington, D.C. We have to have a really hard conversation about how we start breaking apart some of government. Government is a necessary thing. We're no angels. If we were angels, there'd be no need for government. We're not angels. Uh, but it's supposed to be limited in size and scope. Ned, you write that book. You come back on and tell us Absolutely. about it. Absolutely. Thanks so much. America Majority. Thanks, Jack. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.